Hi, Robin Hill here at the Kansas City Spring Market International Quilt Show. And guess who we're about to meet? You're about to meet Lynn Rimmers of Hoop Sisters. I love Hoop Sisters. They make some beautiful stuff. So I'm going to flip around and I'm going to let um, her do all the talking. She's just, we've got some exciting new packs and you may see them in the stores real soon. Hi, Hi Lynn, how are you? I'm great. Hi Robin. I'll show you today our new designs we have out. This one's called Raising Daisies. And Beautiful. An adorable applique daisy with some daisy quilting to match. You can do lots of layouts with it. In the wow. same pattern we have the Alana quilt which is oh. just a real simple quilt. You can use the big, bold, beautiful prints that are out today. And down below, I've actually crystal one. Oh, wow. Let me close in on that so you can see it, ladies. Oh, wow. Use your crystal cutter, your crystal tools. Oh, yes. And up here, we have springtime. Springtime has 3D leaves. Oh, beautiful. And here we have snail's tail. <gasps> Beautiful. This actually has embroidery in the center that follows out. Oh, wow. That's your thread, so it follows it out. It's beautiful. Hey, look. This is our Lord's Prayer design. We have the Love Lord's this. Prayer in four versions, and it's actually the quilting on the, on the quilt. Oh, that is so incredible. Hey, can you step over here and show yep. off your purse? Yep. And how you're revitalizing some of your older this packs? This is my date night bag. It's done with our going crazy quilt pattern. And Annie, throw me the quilt. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is our, our quilt pattern for going crazy. And oh, it's beautiful. Our little date night bag, and it comes with a flap. So you'll see that at Robin's store soon, I'm sure. I hope so. These are beautiful. <laughs> Oh, cool. And that's what, my sister Annie, the hippie. Yeah, there's Annie. Say hi, Annie. <laughs> Say hi, Oklahoma. Hi, Oklahoma. <laughs> anyway, okay. That's, well, there you have it. That's the Hoop Sisters. Rustine's going to be teaching the class of their uh, quilt this fall. So look forward to those classes, and I'll look forward to seeing you later. Hi, Robin Hill with the Stitching Post News. I'm so excited. I'm standing here with Phil from Kangaroo Cabinet Company. And he's going to show us their newest model that's coming out. It's called the Bandicoot. So I'm going to turn it over to Phil and let him see what it says. All right, now this is the Bandicoot. The Bandicoot's really nice because it's compact, so you don't need a whole lot of sewing space in your sewing room. So you have this sewing surface here. You have the touch airlift. Bring it your machine up out of the storage position. Sew a free arm here, or you can put it down in the flatbed with your custom made insert to fit your machine. Again, drop it down when you want to store away your machine. And then you close it up, and it compacts down to two feet by one foot. So you only need this much space in your sewing room to have your own sewing studio. And this that is so new that you'll find it only in Oklahoma City Stitching Post this June. That's great, Phil. Thank you. So if you ladies like that, you better get your orders in so we can get it to your house. Thanks. Hi, Robin Hill here at the Kansas City Quilt Market. And we're standing in the Quick Sew Patterns booth and I guess a lot of you know we've been doing classes. But they've got some exciting new patterns coming out and I'm gonna introduce you to Robin, the other Robin in the industry, and she's gonna tell us some exciting stuff about your new deal. But mostly, pay attention to the different color selections for the diaper covers. Okay, now here's Robin. Oh. Look at the diaper cover covers patterns in all the different silhouettes. But our favorite thing is this little house. Oh, Robin, can you show us some of the new patterns coming out this year? Sure. <laughs> yeah. We've got this great crafty carrier here. It's got lots of pockets and loops for all your great stuff. And if you're a scrapbooker, it's going to work great for all those toys, too. Cool. We've also got these adorable baby booties over here. If your diaper cover isn't just enough to make your kid too cute, We've got these little cowboy boots. Everybody is loving these and eating these up. I had a girl tell me she bought some for $40 and her son won't even wear them. So she was devastated that she didn't make them herself. Oh, how cute. We've also got these adorable little aprons, lots of great stuff for the kitties. Um, we've also got some things like the rug down here. 
They're lots of fun to make and functional too. Oh, how neat. Well, Robin, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And we just love the new quick sew patterns. They're great. Thank you once again. It's better if you cut pieces to a size similar to what you need and a shape similar to what you need. This makes it easier to see what's going on. I'm hand sewing right now. I'm, so you don't I, do it on the machine? You, because they're yeah, too no, small. No, I do. I usually do it on the machine. But I can do it by hand. Um, probably, you know, like 95% of what I do is on the machine. But it's nice to have a little carry around project that I can do by hand. It's not hard. Um, so when you do it on the machine, you just use a normal stitch length. You don't have to use shorter stitches because the, <laughs> the fabric so, or the paper is so thin. Um, and by hand, well, it's just, I don't know, it's just nice to have a cup like you carry it. And do the line with about a quarter of an inch past it. Just like you're going cut edge to cut edge of a regular seam. Amy, I'm Robin with the Stitching Post, and I'm so excited to meet you. We sell hi. your patterns in our store. Hi. Say hi, Amy. And I'm going to flash you around. I love your new stuff. It's so cute. Well, we've actually taught classes. It's such a pleasure to meet you. But I wanted to introduce you to all the ladies back in Oklahoma. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I did the Oklahoma Shop Hop with um, my mom, and we had the best fun. We just had so much fun. Oh, if I had known, I'd have been there. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Hi, I'm Robin Hill with The Stitching Co. At K, I love your booth. All your patterns and your clothes are wonderful. How did you really get into this? Well, I've sewn all my life, and my mom taught me when I was a girl. So I've just, you know, been sewing different bags, accessories, and things ever mm -hmm. since then. Started out as an elementary school teacher. Did that for nine years. Wow. And I quit 11 years ago and started a business. So. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing with that. And that's to... Uh, Robin Hill, it's Robin Hill. <laughs> at the Stitching Post. All right. All right. I'm getting my book signed, ladies. Whoop, there's my thumb. Cool. But, Miss Kay, we're going to be using your books for teaching uh, basic sewing classes. I'm very excited at your product. Very oh, beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. So, hi, Julie. What are you demonstrating here at the Houston Quilt Market? Houston, we're not in Houston. Oh, we I'm sorry, in Kansas, Kansas City. City. <laughs> <laughs> That's and a big show. It's been a long day. It has been a long day. <laughs> and I am demoing some fine examples from my new book, Skip the Borders, that is going to be out this August with Barton Gale. Oh. And the book features 15 borderless quilts, and included is an extensive amount of finding directions and suggestions because with borderless quilts, finding is really something that shouldn't be discounted as an area that can really give a lot of interest to your quilt if you want, or you could go with something that matches the quilt, you know, high contrast, low contrast, add a flange, no flange, bias, straight of green, scrappy, there's a lot of choices and suggestions in the book. Oh, most people that. avoid binding. It's really interesting that someone as young as yourself has written a book about it. I love binding, and I am not afraid to admit that. I think binding is fabulous. And, cool. Um, I think it's an area that people, unfortunately, often don't like, so they overlook, but it really is an area that can have a lot of impact on the quilt. Yeah, it's, it's like adding that final frame to yes. your masterpiece. It's very Absolutely. important. I understand. But what's really cool is how young you are, and I love seeing how young people are in sewing and bringing it back and exciting it. But thank you for your time and interviewing with me. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? And you're with Positively Quilt Designs? I'm Rebecca with Absolutely Positively Quilt Designs, and this is my mom, Chris. She actually does Hi, Chris. most of the Hello. designing. Um, how neat. So, uh, you do a lot of the long arming. I noticed how beautiful you do, and I'm so thrilled to see a young How do you feel as a young woman when you meet your friends, you know, and they're hanging out, and you could always give up a career for modeling because you're very beautiful, but how do your friends feel when you're hanging out and you're, you're quilting and they're like, you know, deciding what to do at the mall. I mean, how do you, how do you handle that? Well, actually, I kind of started talking my best friend into making a purse. So it's a step closer to quilting. Um, most of them like the idea, like the projects, but they're not quite ready to sit down and sew themselves. So it hasn't bothered me too much. I still do it, and 
they love the projects. Okay, well, but I think it's fantastic what you're doing, and I just hope you continue with it. But thank you, ladies, very much. It was nice meeting you. Thank you. You're welcome. But check out the beautiful quilts. Ooh. Those are gorgeous. I like this one personally. <laughs> Look what you can just do, ladies, with a basic sewing machine.